welcome again in last lecture we show about the structure of the flutter but few things are remaining about it wait this is something another project first time okay so we stopped here so in this code you might be wondering what is this stateless and build and material app and all so let's just let me just make it clear with you what is the stateless widget so stateless widget there will be two types in the flutter one is stateless widget and another one is stateful widget stateless widget is it's something which is gonna be uh it's not gonna be changed it is gonna be immutable like uh, if i name the app uh, name this is flutter demo this is not gonna be changed if i name the theme data and primary search color blue it is not gonna be changed where in stateful widget i have something like title which is in uh, i'm gonna display here and other thing is i have counter so unclick uh, of something there is uh, then click of the but floating there's one floating action button so on click of the increment uh, floating action button there's one method named increment counter so it will increment the counter one by one so if something value is if the value in the class is being changed then we, are, we will use stateful widget if otherwise if it's constant static not gonna change then it will be included in stateless widget so now let's run first of all what is this boilerplate boilerplate code wanna say to us let's just run with flutter run if here i could see there is a one devices to connect with it with me right so let me run if there is no device connected is so that it here it will show the no devices when you click on it it will show the available devices which are on your system you have so you can just uh, choose it and then run flutter run it's running running see first of all uh, whenever you run the any flutter project for the first time it will take few seconds but uh, when the next time you will run it's hard reload is just like a blessing so it will just make a change in like one or two seconds it's running running For now, I'm just running my uh, project on the emulator, Android emulator, as I'm working on the Windows. So other than that, if you're working on Mac, you can check on both the uh, your iOS emulator, your real device, or the any Android emulators or devices. I know my system is low slow so it's taking more than expected time finally that's it build is done installing okay so here it is so this boilerplate code would give us one app bar with uh, one text in the center and the one floating action button in the bottom right. Yeah, here it is. So on the click of it, you could see it's just doing increment, increment, increment. Yeah, so this is the, all the boilerplate code which Flutter gives us. Now let's just change it. Let's clear all the uh, all the code, flush it out. 
let's start with the beginning import package flutter material dot dart void run to run my app sorry void main void main then run app here I will give name is my app okay here is a, it is not defined yet so it is giving my error so let's make it class my app extends here it will extend use extend I'm using stateless widget now one method is missing it is it will see tell me to create one missing override method so I will choose the build here it will return null so if I will run for now it will give me an error it's running It's uninstalling the old version. See, I forgot to tell you that uh, whenever you use any Visual Studio ID code, uh, you have to add one plugin, two plugins for Flutter. One is the Flutter, which I have already installed, and the second one is the Dart. So it will give support of the flutter in your code. So yes, I told you it will give me error. My app dirty the build function return null. So yes, it will give me null. So let's wrap it with material app. In material app, that I have few options. The first one is home in home i can name it any other class i want to use for now i am using scaffold so what is scaffold scaffold is like a, a structure which provides the page of layout of your code it is uh, in if i say in hindi or anything so that means it's a chat so scaffold is basically provide a structure to your application so in scaffold i have few properties actually very much very much properties like app bar background bottom shade bottom navigation draw and draw so first of all i'll just doing basic thing so for now i'm taking app bar in app bar i would have to use the app bar and app bar i have few properties name action bottom brightness properties opacity for now i want to use title so in title i want to use text so let's take it text and then name it uh four step right so let's see yep Error is gone. I provide a scaffold to it and give app bar to it and title to it. So, yes, let's keep it till here and uh, look it into for forward in the next lecture. So, till then, ta da!